Hey everyone, Sakanya here. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can solve this problem, integration 1 over sine squared x cos squared x dx. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this expression, mainly the denominator. So I'm going to rewrite this as integration 1 over sine x cos x and then whole squared dx and using a commonly known trigonometric identity i'm going to simplify this and that trigonometric identity is sine 2x equals 2 sine x cos x and the reason i'm using this particular identity is because i see this contains a sine x cos x and in the problem we also have a sine x cos x so i'm going to find sine x cos x from over here and that means dividing both sides by two Therefore, sine x cos x is equal to 1 half sine 2x. Now I'm going to replace the right side in the original integral. So I'm going to get integration 1 over 1 over 2 sine 2x and then whole squared, remembering that we are squaring the whole denominator. And dx, of course, I'm going to simplify this. So we have a 4 that comes up top. We have sine squared 2x dx that stays at the bottom. I am going to take the 4 out because it is a constant. So I'm going to have 4 integration 1 over sine squared 2x dx. 1 over sine squared 2x, I'm going to rewrite it as cosecant squared 2x. So 4 integration cosecant squared 2x dx. Now I'm going to apply u substitution so I can simplify this a little bit more. I do know the integration of cosecant squared x, but this 2x is throwing me a little off. So let's apply u substitution. So I'm gonna, going to let u equal to 2x. Next up, differentiate both sides. du is equal to 2dx. I'm going to find dx. So we have dx is equal to 1 half du. Now I'm going to rewrite this integral in terms of u, just to simplify it a little bit. So we have 4 integration cosecant squared u, because we said u was 2x. Then we have dx over here, and we said that was 1 half du. 1 half du. Once again, that 1 half is a constant. Going to take it out of the integral. So we're left with 4 times 1 half which is just two, right? So we're gonna, going to write two. Integration cosecant squared u du. And this integral right over here, that is equal to negative cot u plus c. Of course, we can't have our answer in terms of u. So I'm going to rewrite this as negative two cot, and we said u was two x, so two x plus c. And that is our final answer.